Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about wells and before we do I want to mention that I'm going to keep the navigation bar in the rest of my tutorials that we made in the last video because I don't know I just think it will be a little bit cooler if it looks like we're making an actual website instead of just a bunch of different you know individual examples so I set it up so I can type all of my demonstrations right here and they're going to appear right here but if you guys want to do the same thing as me then just take your navigation bar and just stick it right above it I'm gonna keep it collapsed because we're not actually gonna be tweaking any of the code in there but you know just want to show you guys what's going on alright so let me make sure I got my tabs right so a well is essentially just it's kinda of like a floating island they look like, like these individual sections with a border and usually a gray background and let me add a heading real quick so might wells are um, sections with borders and by the way is gray spelled with an A or an E I want to get your guys' opinion. I never know how to spell it. I mean, I know that you can spell it either way and it's technically correct, but uh, I don't know. Like, what's more common? Kind of bothers me. Moving on. Let's learn how to create a simple well and, you know, figure out what they actually look like. Now, just to make a real basic one, the class is well. Easy to remember. And I'll just write basic well. So this is the text that is going to appear inside it. And... If I refresh, this is our heading, and as you can see, this is a basic well, just a floating island that's gray, and it has a slight border. So, whenever you have some content and you want to separate it from your main website, that is what you do. And there are a bunch of different types of wells that we can make. Aside from just a simple one, we can have well, well small, and this just kind of takes away some of that padding makes it a little bit more condensed and people use these a lot for alert boxes so say that you're filling out a form to let's say sign up for a website if you filled it out correctly then a well would pop up when it might have like a green background say congratulations you signed up now check your email to verify it or you know just a bunch of different examples maybe a notification of one of your friends birthdays who knows possibilities unlimited so Anytime you want to create a well in that fashion, it's actually a different style. It's called an alert. So for the class, what one can I show you? I'll show you guys the success one. So alert, success. Now inside here, I'll just write uh, like, how do you spell congratulations? R-A-T-U-L-A-T-O-N-S? Is that right? Hopefully. All right, so congratulations, you just won the game. Now I can actually just refresh this and check it out. So an alert, all it is is a colored well. Now another thing that you're going to want to do whenever you pop these up, especially if you're making a single page app, you want to give the user the ability to close these. So maybe it's just a notification and you want to have an X on the right hand side and whenever they click it, it goes away. So let me copy this one. All right, so there's my success one. I'll make an info one. So info you can use whenever you just you know want to give a little notification to the user. Obviously, they don't want these thing on you know their web page forever. So I'll just be like, don't forget Kelly's birthday today. And again, this is just going to create a really um, basic well, but in order to add that X that you can click on, it's actually a link. So right before it, and I know it's coming after on the right hand side, but a href, what the heck cursor? It's obviously, you know, not my cursor. I obviously just hit something wrong. All right. So a href, it's going to be a link. You might want to have this actually do something you might not in the class you set to close. Now one other thing that you're going to do, actually two other things, you want to have data and it's not popping up, 
dismiss. So what this is going to do is it's going to dismiss the alert box. And the last thing is label. There we go. And this is close. Make this a little bit easier to read. All right. Now, inside your link, did it actually work? Hmm, impressive. What symbol do you want to appear as your link? Well, let's just have a uh, oh, X, and it's actually called times. So this is going to be HTML that's going to be rendered into a graphic. So if we refresh this, check it out. So this is that times, and uh, it's called times because I guess you use it during multiplication. But whenever we click it, the link is going to make this disappear, just like that. Now, if you noticed, whenever I click it, it just disappears immediately and a lot of people what they like to do is have this fade out instead so if you want to have it fade out what you can do is this it's really easy to change so I'll keep that one so whenever I post it on github you guys will have it and let me just say um, danger so info's blue danger is going to be red and what can we have the text on this say like are you sure to your account. All right, now inside this div, right after alert danger, we're gonna add another class called fade space in. So it's two different classes. So now whenever I refresh this, check it out. So this blue one, whenever we close it, it's just gonna pop away immediately. And this red one, you might have to look closely, but I'm gonna click it and it fades out. If it was kind of hard to see on YouTube, then you can definitely see it great whenever you run it in person. But that is the basics of wells and alerts and how you make your alerts closable and also how to add a basic fading animation to your alerts. See you next time.